In this video we're going to deal with a few final problems on indices just to make sure that you're happy with how they work. So we're going to start off with writing 16 root 2 as a power of 2. So we want 2 to the something. So first of all we're going to want to change that 16. Now 16 is 2 to the power of what we've got 2 4, 8, 16, so 2 to the power of 4. Then we're multiplying that by root 2, which is 2 to the power of a half. So now that you've got 2 to the something times 2 to the something else, you can add the indices together. So we've got 4 plus a half, so that's 4 and a half, which is 9 halves. So this is 2 to the power of 9 over 2, or 4.5. So in this second one, we've got, to simplify, this expression involving a. a to the two-thirds times a to the half divided by a to the third. So first of all, deal with the numerator. We've got a to the two-thirds times a to the half, so we're going to have to add two-thirds to one-half. Now two-thirds is three, is, uh, sorry, is four-sixths. That's three-sixths, so we've got a to the four-sixths times a to the three-sixths all over a to the third, which is the same as a to the two-sixths. Making this, putting it all into equivalent fractions with the same denominator is really going to help. So we're adding the indices here, so we've got a to the seven over six, four-sixths plus three-sixths is seven over six, and then we've got a over 2 sixths. And now, because we're doing a division, the indices subtract. So we've got a to the 7 sixths divided by a to the 2 sixths is a to the 5 sixths. Okay? And that's my final answer. As simplified as I possibly can do. The next one, write 2 minus x all over the cube root of x as the sum of powers of x. So what that means first is to write everything as a power of x. So we've got 2 minus x over x to the third. Okay? Well, then we've got 2 over x to the third. Take away x over x to the third. Almost out of board space there. So we've got 2 over x to the third, take away x over x to the third. Now the first term there is 2x to the minus 1 third. This is 2 lots of 1 over x to the third. And so 2x to the minus a third. The second term is x to the 1 divided by x to the third. So the indices subtract, so you've got 1 take away 1 third is, x, is 2 thirds. So this is take away x to the two thirds. Okay? And it is now a sum of powers of x. The last thing here, this equation, x to the minus three quarters is one over twenty-seven. So first things first, what you can do is get rid of this negative sign in the power. Because that means 1 over. So if I now find x to the 3 quarters, then that must be 27. Okay? So x to the 3 quarters is 27, just flipping both sides. Now, if I cube root both sides, then this is effectively getting me x to the 3 quarters to the 1 third is equal to the cube root of 27, which is 3. And the reason why I've cube rooted both sides is because that eliminates the 3, because we have 3 quarters times a third, which is just 1 over 4. So in actual fact, I can go directly to that step. Cube root both sides gets rid of the 3. Now to get rid of the quarter, I've got to put both sides to the power of 4. So this is x is equal to 3 to the 4. Because if I put the left-hand side to the power of 4, then 1 quarter times 4 is just 1. 
which gets me the x to the 1 that I want. So x is equal to 3 to the 4, which is 81. So 81 is the answer that we're looking for. So these are four problems where you need to use your understanding of indices in order to solve them. And you can't just plug them straight into a calculator. You've got to understand what the indices represent and how they can be used. Okay? And the more practice you do on them, the better. No practice, and you're going to be weak at differentiation, integration, um, there's binomial series, etc. Okay, so indices is a must.